What's up guys, it's Brittany, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you guys a bunch of really fun DIY projects that you guys can do this summer. All of these projects are so incredibly easy, and some of you guys might even have some of the items laying around in your house already, and you won't even need to buy anything. But if you do, everything was really affordable, so I think that you guys will really love these. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and also follow me on all of my social media, especially Snapchat. I love Snapchat, so if you guys love Snapchat, as well. You can actually follow me by snapping this code right here. And if you want to see how to do some really fun DIY projects for the summer, then just keep on watching. This first DIY is my favorite and I'm going to show you guys how to make these faux suede chokers. So I have a couple different styles to show you and all you will need is obviously some faux suede cord. And I got mine from Walmart as well as some different things to decorate your chokers with. So the first one I'm going to do, I'm just going to use these two little silver balls. And I measured out a piece of the black faux suede cord to wrap around my neck twice and then a little bit extra length so that I can kind of tie it in a bow or knot at the end, whatever I want. So I'm just threading on the beads and then tying a little knot at the end of them and that is literally all that you have to do for this first one it's so incredibly easy and it's super cute This next choker is super cool. I found this little snake and tail clasp at Walmart, and all I did was measure out four of the faux suede cords to go around my neck and the length that I want. I wanted it to be pretty tight on my neck, but obviously comfortable, so I just cut four of them, and then I put a little bit of hot glue into the head of the snake, and then I gathered the four cords and put it into it. And then I just did the exact same thing to the tail end of the snake clasp, and then just put in the four pieces of cord into the little hole so that it is secured with the hot glue and then you just clasp it around your neck i think it is so cute and i haven't even seen anything like this in stores either and i just wanted to show you guys how i made the choker that i was wearing in the intro of this video i found these little cord ends i think they are i'm not totally sure but i found them at walmart so all of these were extremely affordable and again i just put some hot glue into the end of the little tube and then put the end of the cord in it so that's it for that one i think it's really cute this next DIY is showing you how to make your own personalized t-shirt. So I first went on to Google and I just Googled random shell pictures. It doesn't matter if it's a PNG or not because I will be printing on a white shirt, but keep that in mind if you do something different, it might affect the way that your picture prints. And then I just opened it up and picked Monkey and personalized it and added some writing to it. And also make sure that you flip your image and basically reverse it so that it transfers properly. And then I just printed out a bunch of different ones that I made onto a piece of transfer paper, which I got in a pack from Walmart. I'm gonna try to tweet out all of these these different images that I made um, or personalized I guess I obviously googled the images but if you guys want them I'll try to like tweet it or something but then you just follow the instructions on your transfer paper and then iron on the image to your shirt and now you have a really cool personalized t-shirt my next DIY project to try out this summer is to test a Pinterest or BuzzFeed recipe. I found this one on Pinterest, obviously, and I will leave the actual recipe below, but basically you just make Rice Krispie treats, so you will need some marshmallows and butter, and then also some food coloring. So I didn't actually have any green food coloring, so I just mixed blue and yellow. But this portion is to make the rind of the watermelon, because obviously we're gonna make these really cute watermelon Rice Krispie popsicle treats, and just put in a couple drops of of green food coloring obviously if you have it and then mix it into your melted butter and marshmallow mixture and then you will add in some rice crispy treats and I think it's really fun to test out different things and just make fun things so that you guys can enjoy with your friends or if you're just really bored one day and everybody's busy this is like really easy to make so you'll also need a I believe nine inch circle pan and I sprayed my fingers with some cooking spray the actual recipe suggested doing this which was awesome because it really really sticks to your fingers and you basically just want to mold the green around the edges of the pan and this is gonna be the watermelon rind and then you're gonna go ahead and make a another batch of Rice Krispies, except this time you'll be using red food coloring to make it a bit pink. And obviously all of the ingredients and everything will be listed in the actual Pinterest recipe, which I will link below, but you basically just do the exact same thing. It's a little bit bigger of a batch to make the red Rice Krispie treats because it's gonna fill the center of your little pan. So go ahead and mix it up and make sure everything gets coated nice and even. And then we're gonna pour it into the center of the 
little nine inch pan and you definitely want to let this cool for a bit before you start handling it so just keep that in mind you don't want to burn yourself so be very careful so after squishing down the rice krispies to make sure that it's flat i'm gonna go ahead and add some little chocolate chips and this is gonna be the seed of the watermelon and then i just cut it into six little slices and put some popsicle sticks in it and it's super cute and really good my last DIY is to make these perler bead or melty bead earbud holders. These are from Michaels. I found two of these kits for $1.50 each, which is so incredibly cheap, and they come with extra pieces, which is why we will need these. And I thought that the frogs were really adorable. So go ahead and follow your kit instructions to make the little frog, and then cover it with the included iron sheet and iron it. It said for about 30 seconds, but I had to do mine longer. I guess it just depends on your iron. You will need to do both sides, but go ahead and set one aside and then make a second little frog face or whatever one that you're doing and remove the three bottom perler beads in the center because this is where we were going to be putting the earbuds so go ahead and iron that as well and then do the other side once it's cooled but in the meantime you guys will need to make two small circles to fit on the inside of the two frog faces these are going to be glued to each other and then to the inside of the two frog faces and this is going to give the earbuds something to wrap around so go ahead and finish everything and then I'm going to hot glue one of the circles to the inside of the first little frog face and then I'm gonna hot glue the other circle to that circle I don't know if this sounds confusing but it's really really easy so if you just watch I'm sure you guys can figure it out and then I'm gonna hot glue the second little frog face on so now you have this really cool little earbud holder and then you can go ahead and wrap your earbuds around it leaving the earbud part out of the actual little opening that we left and then wrap the rest of it around and then they are secure and they won't get tangled That's it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I hope that you guys go around and check out some more of my videos on my channel and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.